What's going on guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's talk today about how to get free money for your business in 2022. Something that we have to understand that there is a lot of money out there specifically with what we just went on with the pandemic. So there's a lot of funds, a lot of budgets put out there for a lot of small businesses. Now, especially if you're a minority, you're a woman-based business, and even a veteran-based business, there's a lot of programs that can help you get you off the ground as a startup or even scaling your business. Now guys, today let's talk about is where to go to actually get this money and what to say and how to prepare this package that you're gonna show them in order to get you free money. Let's roll. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south, I'll be spreading out. Now, if you are a small business nowadays, there's so many programs that you can actually take advantage of, especially if you're in the minority type of sections. Now, if you're a new startup, I mean, there's so many things that you can do. And what happened? There are many budgets put in place that a lot of people don't know about and they go untapped and unseen. And many, and so many people actually just struggling because one, I understand that we just went through a pandemic. We just went through a situation in which a lot of people lost their job, businesses just got hurt, and people's credit got really, really damaged. And nowadays, I understand that if you don't know about business, the first thing that you do is bootstrap your business, meaning you start using your own credit, your own savings, and your own finances in order to start a business, which we all did. I did it the same way. And before I have to learn how to create business credit, it's a little different, but let's talk about free money. Now there's so many ways that you can actually get money out there between 20 to $30,000 at the time. Some of them are grants. Some of them are loans and they have even forgivable writers in that loan. Specifically, if you are in an industry that is required or that the United States right now wants to invest in. So keep this in mind. And let's talk about the must have in order for you to be considered as an entity that can be lendable, but at the same time, you can get some of the benefits of getting free money for your business. Now, one of the main things that you need to understand is in order to get money for a business, you need to be a business. What I'm saying is you need to file to become an entity. <clears throat> when I'm talking about an entity, it's either an LLC, S Corp, C Corp. Now, I'm not an attorney or CPA, so I'll advise you to go ahead and actually um, um, consult with them and make sure that they tell you what's the best entity that you can form in your state for your business. Now, one of the main things, too, that you need to have and that you must have is a business business address. Now, if you're a business, you need to do a business ask, and you cannot specifically be doing business from your home, which I understand that's where we all started. And I understand that if you start from home that's the only address you have but no not specifically you can actually get what's called a virtual business address for your business because this is one of the compliance items that a lot of banks and a lot of entities search for to make sure that you are a legitimate company and not just someone that went online and opened an entity just to get money keep that in mind make sure that you also have a business phone number not your cell phone not your personal number you can actually go to Google. It is free. You can set that up as a business phone number, but as there's also VoIP systems out there. So voice over the internet protocol, which is a phone that you can use over your web, over the internet. And it specifically could be for a business. Now you can also call your cell phone carrier. And they also have business plans. And you'd be surprised, especially if you're a veteran. I am a veteran myself. You can get a lot of business plans with your cell phone company that are cheaper than the actual cell phone bill for a personal. So keep that in mind. Not only that, that saves you. You kill two birds in one stone. You use your personal phone, but you're also using a business line and that serves as a line that your business must, must use. Now at the same time, something that a lot of banks and a lot of entities will want to look for is make sure that you are filed with the 411 database. They need to make sure that you are on the map. They want to make sure that you are here to stay because if they need to call you a loan, and if it is a loan, then they want to make sure that you are someone that is going to stay here for a while. At the same time, you need to have a website, a website, a website, a website. It is essential. 
And I understand that nowadays our marketing is completely different. And something that we have to keep in mind is that a, a lot of people use landing pages and they're more effective when it comes to marketing. Good and that, that's good when you actually do your marketing. But in order to also have a presence online, you must have a website that specifically states what you do, how you do it, and how you help the community or your industry. So that is something that your bank will always, always look for. Always look for. At the same time, with that, once you get a website, obviously you gotta get a domain. And if you get a domain, you must have a email business address. If your domain is 123mainstreet.com, your email will be carlos at 123mainstreet.com. That's something that I've been look, looking for, not a Yahoo, Gmail, or any other type of uh, email out there. And lastly, you need to have, and you must have, a business bank account. It is going to save you a lot of headaches when it comes down to do your taxes, because that's another thing that a lot of business owners fail. Make sure that they're bookkeeping, but at the same time, and doing their annual taxes. So make sure you separate those and create a business account. And even that, something that I completely forgot was making sure that you get your EIN. EIN stands for Employee Identification Number, which is equivalent to your social security number that you have on your personal side. Without that, you won't be able to open a bank account or you won't be able to even apply for credit cards or the grants and free money that we're going to talk about. Let's go. All right, guys, so now we are going to get the free money, right? So in order to get the free money, you need to show the entity that you're going after how you are going to use the money that you are going to get. And how do we do this? You need to develop a well-prepared business plan. A business plan is your business resume. Remember when you used to go, now that you're not you're a business owner, but before when you're not a business owner, you used to go in front of an employer to try to get a job. You presented yourself, you sold yourself with a resume. This is the same thing that a business plan will be. And it's a detailed plan that states from the financials, the projections, what you plan to do with the money, how you're going to use it, what are you going to acquire, how are you going to employ, and how you're going to benefit the economy among other things. So keep this in mind. Make sure that you work a well, well prepared business plan. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and allow you to come into a software for free. In there, you'll be able to see all the compliance items, but at the same time, you have the ability to go ahead and get some of our third party vendors. So you start creating that business plan that you need. And they're very fairly, fairly inexpensive. So make sure if this is the route that you want to go to try to get some free money, you need a well-prepared business plan. Now I'm going to give you a quick, quick tip that you must have in this business plan. You need to have a section in with it within the business plan, the states, how are you going to use the money? The best way that I seen and I found out that you can get approved is by stating that you will be using this to obtain equipment for your business. Why? Because they want to make sure that you're obtaining assets for the business that is going to create you more and more money. And God forbid, God forbid you go out of business. There's still an asset that can be sold, bought, or even auctioned out. But again, that's not the route we want to go to, but you got to think about how the lender or how the bank or how the people giving you the grant think. And that's where you got to stand. You got to put the, you know, situate yourself in their shoes and make sure you think just like them and anticipate any questions that they may have. Let's go. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. There's going to be five sites that I'm going to tell you to go in which you are going to do your due diligence. Remember, make sure that you have all the steps prior in order for you to start applying for this grant. The first place that you're going to go to is grant.gov. Grants.gov. And this is the place where you go where a lot of budgets are put together for different industries in the United States in order to help the economy. And a lot of people don't know about it. A lot of people don't use the system and a lot of people don't take advantage of it. So don't you be one of those. Take advantage. Make sure but you need to do your due diligence. And I understand just like any other government site, it could be convoluted. 
it could be very very disorganized sometimes but it's up to you to make sure that you learn the process and they're actually updating them on the monthly basis every 30 days they update the sites so go ahead and apply find out what the requirements are meet the requirements and submit you can easily get anything between 20 30 40 thousand dollars in a matter of weeks and not months and years that takes you to actually build your business at the same time the second one that i'll tell you to go is to go to the national association of self-employee it's called n-a-s-e so here they have a lot of programs loans that they will be able to give you and a lot of our students a lot of the people that we work with have been able to actually get some loans fairly easy fairly inexpensive and some of them even have a lot of forgivable writers so the next one is called action.org so it's a c c i o n.org now this is a small community type of investment um, uh, organization it's a nonprofit, but they work all around the world they have in colombia they have in china they have um, sites in the united states so what they like to do and they like to help the community to development of small businesses specifically those minority ones they have great terms sometimes they even have forgivable loans so this is a great site that you must check all right fourth you have the sba.gov now the small business administration it has so many programs and a lot of people get so scared by even applying for them hey get a strong business plan that's the must have that's the first must have and be able to put something together put your thoughts together make sure that you have a sound and content um, plan in order to show the government that you are here and you actually a person that created this business in whichever industry you came into and you are here to stay because you want to go ahead and help the economy create jobs and so on remember what we talked about how to present your business plan so go back in the video but remember those things this is something that is, is very essential, but hey, apply, 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 apply. And I know it could be time consuming sometimes, but it's money that you can get and you won't be able to get any otherwise. Now, last one, and I'll be remiss with not telling you this, is you need to start creating your business credit. Guys, it's better to make sure you do it every single day, take five, 10, 15 minutes daily and create little things for your business credit wise start learning start putting together start applying start getting net 30s start doing certain things good to have credit when you don't need it they need it and not have it so it is up to you how much you want to take this business to the future or how far you want to take it but at the same time remember that 97 percent of all businesses fail before the fifth year because of the lack of capital the lack of funds and why is that because they cannot fund their business anymore. Don't you be one of those statistics. Remember that most people fund their business with their own finances, their own credit, their own savings. And there's so much that can take you to unless you're rich. But if you're, if you're watching me today, it's because you're not. And I understand because we were all there once. And I feel your pain. And I want to make sure that I help you. So continue to be successful. And remember, I want to help you create that generational wealth that you deserve. Now, guys, look, go on the bottom of this video. I have a freebie, freebie for you. Like I said before, I want to give you a free business success can. If your business is already an entity and you know that you still want to go to the next level, you don't know what to do next, get your free business success can. And we'll take it from there. Find out what you need in order to apply for the next long credit or even credit line that you're looking for. Get it? I'll give to you guys. Hey, guys. Thank you for your time. My name is Carlos Estrada Vega. I am the Credit Assassin, guys. This is the Credit Assassin's channel. And I need you to go ahead and subscribe. Click on that bell icon. Click on all so that you'll be notified every time that we post a new content. But at the same time, give me the thumbs up. That is going to help me tremendously to take this content to many, many more people. See you soon. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots. I tell you get big boss, you get yachts, you swing lots, and pop off a big shot. I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient. Who's at the top think they need replacement? Who's at the top think I'm gonna erase that face?